what is up guys your boy Vina jake back at it again with more content so for today's content we're gonna be starting off that we're gonna be fixing a guy's mustang we're gonna need a little side swipe to what he said he said he hit a pull but i'm pretty sure he full sent it Sharosh or Roushay, whatever the hell you call it he sent me to be to fix it and to change the color as well also quick update updated my phone uh with a lot of content uh my phone would fill up fast, so I got the iPhone 15 Pro, the one terabyte, because I'm not trying to be transferring so many data throughout the time span. Before the guy comes, I need to move these cars. So, <laughs> I haven't used them because I've been working a lot of, um, I'm a videographer and photographer, you guys and I know. But, my Z's dead, my Mustang's dead, probably uh, Alex's Z is dead. And an update on the Z, well, it's honestly just getting a pure tune-up i need to fix my hydro from the last event it hasn't been acting well to what a couple of drift buddies in your community as well i hit them up they reached out test drove the car they said yeah it needs a couple of adjusting before it can be properly sent out again also guys i'm gonna be updating the color on the mustang figured it matches better with my z and alex's z and eventually i want to get all my cars gray um damn i love how it's actually reflecting pretty well on the paint right now oh that's good also guys if you guys are new to the car community or new to the channel don't forget to hit that like subscribe button but i would suggest the number one car mod or car things to buy down the road for future is a jump start you can see my battery is like dead 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 okay guys yeah, so it's really <laughs> the freaking living shit out of me. Damn it. Okay, hold up. Okay, guys, so I ran like six times just so I could get it on point. Um, <laughs> I, got, I got it ready. Okay, cool. Nah. Um, Mustang keys, bubbly. Also, guys, if you guys are looking to get some deliveries, then shout out to my boy, Stellar Graphics, man. He came down with this. That's the Stellar Graphics. He made this happen, so delivery. I set him an idea, and he came through. Pretty affordable, and he's super fast, super quick. He does, uh, I think, worldwide shipping or United States shipping. And reach out to him, guys. Uh, look at this American Eagles. Purr. So we picked up the Mustang. Um, as you can tell that it's not a old one. Um, I'm gonna send you guys pictures throughout the progress. I'll show you guys the picture or film of the video of the car when I get home. This one's a 2022, 2023 Roush. I don't, I'm not sure I'm saying it right. I had a lumpy son. <laughs> so guys, this beautiful Roush does have this dent. So I'm gonna try I'm all the best to help him out. It is really impacted right there. Um, I don't know what he was doing. I don't question as much, but I just try to figure out what happened initially. This is a beautiful car. Really beautiful car, if you ask me. But uh, fortunately, stuff happens, you know? So he requested a color change. Uh, I know there was more damage over here. And I don't know if you guys can see it as much, but it is damage right there. Oh, it's got more damage here. 
as a full inspection. Um, the body is pretty straight, but let me put it on side by side comparison on this side. Obviously, you, you see the body, I mean, looks straight on this side. So I'm gonna try to compare this sizing with the other to see hopefully you can um, strain it out, you know? So we'll go from there. Okay, so we're gonna start with the dismantling. For this video, you guys are gonna see me and Alex a lot. So Alex is gonna start helping me dismantle all the delicate stuff since she's good at tearing parts, tearing cars apart when it comes to micro stuff because she's pretty good at that. So right now, so far, I've already taken out the top piece. I'm gonna be trying to be removing the front bumper. I think these are all eights. That's weird. It's an eight in a smaller size. But yeah, we're gonna piece right there. We're, so we're initially gonna take off the front fenders, front bumper, and the hood. Uh, before we can get to that, uh, once we get to that, we're gonna go and start through the sanding part. So we're gonna try to take off the louvers, um, the badge. We're gonna take off the whole front bumper, the whole front bumper. We're gonna take off the black grills, all the black grill piecings, all the matte black grill piecings. And he requested to leave it the same. Just anything else, just all red is just gonna change. Okay guys, so it's the morning. Um, I did encounter an issue when working on this vehicle. The caps were easy to remove. Uh, I can't find the lemon key. I contacted the owner. Uh, I don't think he even knows where the key is. I contacted the dealership. Turns out that you actually have to order, a, like you have to pre-order or order the key for Roush or Roush. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I'm not much of a muscle car guy. I mean, I'm gonna this thing as well, but not like this. Um, so, the biggest issue is that we cannot move farther. Well, we can still move farther, but there's only so far we can move in terms of going on and like actually working on the vehicle, you know? So, cause I need to remove the fender, I need to remove the front bumper, and some of the parts is gonna be at a point where I need to remove the tire, and this is gonna be a lot more complicated than it's being at this point, you know? But yeah. So hopefully you can get in contact. I did reach out to a salesman. Oh, and also guys, look, this is the damage. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it as well. And it, it was hit pretty bad. So I'm gonna try to see how much I can save out of this hit. Um, and then also I, I saw that there was a here. So those are the two primary big damages of the vehicle. Um, we're gonna try to see how it, it ends up going. So we're getting across, like I'm gonna try to take off the front bumper right now. And once I take off the front bumper, we can just start dismantling that. And we can um, go from there. Uh, also guys, if you guys are new to my channel, hit that like and subscribe button. You guys wanna see more content like this. So front bumper is removed. Um, it does have a lot of bolts in the bottom. It has, it supposedly said, I looked at another video that I had six bolts. So I can show you guys an example. I had to remove these two bolts that they are, um, I believe, eight millimeter or 10 millimeter. These two here. Um, they're here, these are tents. And you have four more over here that they're tents. Uh, so guys, I don't know if you guys are ready, but <sighs> I'm not, but custom request. Uh, there's nothing. Guys, the hood is finally all sanded down. Um, there's just a little bit of parts that still need to get to it. And then also the bumpers are here. I'm gonna start dismantling the bumper so I can start painting the red as well on this one. Um, to what it seems, so far, a lot of stuff is already flimsy off the bat. So I'm gonna be dismantling the back piece, the lip, um, this black piecing, this black strip, probably, probably not. It looks like it's an adhesive type style. And go from there. Okay, so I finally started getting the wheel off, so the wheels off, thanks to this special Harbor Freight coming in clutch. Um, check it out. So this is how it takes out the key. It's like super, like check it out. It came out like nothing, guys. So it's a four piece set. It comes in four different sizes. It comes with a little pin. So like once you get it stuck in there, you hammer it out, light touch, and it pops out like nothing. 40 bucks, guys. I'd rather pay this than a headache. 
Okay guys, good morning. It's early, we're both tired. But Alex is still moving along. She's taking off the other fender now. And I'm still gonna work on like sanding the quarter panel and try to pull out that dent to see how bad the damage is. Okay guys, so the trunk is off. It's all honestly relatively simple. It's got four bolts that hold on to the trunk. It's got the wiring. It's these couple of clips. So I'm gonna show you the tool that I used to pull out these clips without damaging anything and you can pop it back up. And... I forgot what they were called, but it's just like basically like a plastic separator. These are awesome because it speeds up the process really, really fast when it comes to taking off plastics or any type of uh, plastic hinges holding any type of electrical material or wiring. Uh, the, I don't know if it's called a fire surface protection from the hood. Like you could just literally pop it in and boop. And then like, it works as like a flathead type surface. So you can just shove it in there. Or you could just wiggle it in and pop out. Okay, so most of the dents have been almost pulled. I've um, been doing a dent puller. And also guys, that glue does stay stuck pretty well. A quick tip, if you're putting that type of glue, use this nail polish remover. Comes in clutch, it'll come off like butter. Oh, you see that? Oh. The bazooka works successful and it popped it out. I just need to sand it a little bit more. My first super de delicate pull um, came out really good. Throw another full sand down tomorrow so we can go from there. Okay, guys, so we've moved the Mustang because we're gonna go to Formula Drift this weekend and um, and some parts of taking everything almost off. The back bumper for the rash is already fully dismantled. I just need to take off the plate and pull out the, t the lights, which is like almost a small part. Hard part was this one because it had so many clips. And hopefully by Monday I could dismantle this bumper. And once I do that, it's go time for paint. But yeah. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, damn, why are you touching a freaking, and now, so the people don't believe me, it is a Roush. You never know, one day, some guy with the Lambo might hit me up, right? It's a salvage Lambo, be like, hey man, make this shit look pretty again. So, oh well. Yep. Well, let's get started for the next day. So guys, I've been basically around the clock fighting on this car to get it ready. It's coming out good. I mean, like I said, it's like for a rattle kind job, it's pretty Gucci, you know? And I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I was just uh, trying to work on the car. I'll show you guys the end finish because I'm getting closer to it. I still need to take apart the front bumper. I'm going to probably take apart the, the trunk right now, and then we'll go from there. Also, guys, the paint doesn't justify in the in the darkness, but look at the sunlight. It just looks beautiful. Sheesh, I come here. Okay, guys, so the Mustang is in. Just gonna start getting the porter panels ready. I'm gonna start tipping off the well, obviously all the windows, and I'm gonna end up sanding. When, once I finish the quarter panels, I'm gonna end up hitting the roof. So right here, I'm still working on that hit that he was that he had hit on. Um. Like I got some easy fixes for this, so it's coming out a lot better. Like I said, I'm not a professional dent puller. So he said it was fine, as long as it made it look decent. So I'm gonna try my best on that. And then I'll show you guys how the, the body parts are coming along. So this is how the body parts are coming along. Um, we're gonna end up redoing the hood. So this is like all the stuff that I've cleared out so far. It looks beautiful. And then it's funny because it looks black, but if you throw it on reflexive, Active, it's obviously got the glitter flake, so you can't see it as much. <laughs> Alex in the back. Also, a big shout out to my lady because she was the one helping me take apart this car. Yeah, it was so nice. Yes, it was. Like, why did so many I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> also, I was working on some rims for another client. Uh, they are for Mercedes AMG, and then I'll show you guys the other parts. Yes, it's not. I don't have a body shop, but I try my best to put stuff safe and sound. Um, the hood, I wasn't satisfied, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sand it again and give it another clear coat. Uh, everything else looks perfect. It's funny because people ask me like, hey, um, what color are you changing it to? And I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, are you going red or are you going black? I'm like, no, I'm going I'm going black. Well, not me, but the client is. So I'm excited to see how the outcome comes out of this car. And let's go from there. 
Oh, okay, guys, this is how the body panel is coming along. So, honestly, overall, it's coming out pretty good. Um, I just need to polish it towards the end. And once it's polished, as you guys can see, it's like a flake to it. Ooh, see my reflection? I'm getting better at this. And once it's done, we'll go ahead and move over towards the next process. But first, I need to obviously get the front, the roof. And once I get the roof, I'm gonna get this other panel. It's almost done there, sanding, pulling, dusting. Now the final thing is to come to bonding as much as I can to make this, make sure this dent is officially gone. Like I said, guys, I'm not a pro. Done. It's gonna give it such a beautiful glow on this black. Uh, I'll show you guys the end results. It looks pretty nice. Uh, this is, like I said, I still need to do the polish. Once the polish is done on the vehicle, it's gonna look amazing. Okay, guys, so the car is painted now. I just need to go for the polish. And uh, start to put everything together. Okay, guys, so the car is done. Now it's only a matter of polishing it, so I'm just gonna give you guys a preview. And it came out pretty good. Just don't mind the little smudges because I haven't polished it yet. But uh, overall, it came out pretty good. There's a little bit of little touch up that I need to do on the vehicle. But it looks really good. Okay, guys, it's been polished. And that is the end finish, guys. And again, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, sharing helps me create more content and yeah guys later